Hello friends, I am Nathan Daniel and uh, today we will be doing the experiment number 9 which is the component diagram. Uh, so in the component diagram basically it consists of uh, components uh, that looks like this, uh, dependency that looks like this uh, with an interface, okay, that's an interface, uh, algorithm, okay, no, that, that's the algorithm, so output will look somehow like this, so let's see, so this is my uh, model diagram. Um, here will be like uh, authentic. Uh, so first thing what happens here is we authenticate from library database. So once you enter, you have to log in, right? So that's what happens. So you log in. Then what happens? You can either uh, request the vendor the book or or register the user. So first you can register as a user and then you can log in. So so first you register as a user, then you log in over here. Then you can search book. So you can request vendor the book. Uh, you, so uh, other otherwise you can like issue a book first. Then you can uh, so it updates the database. Okay. So first login, then request the vendor the book, makes payment to librarian, uh, then it logs out. Okay. You can either provide books over here, and then it updates the database. Okay. Every time it updates. So every every time you do some uh, payment system or something like that, it updates in the database for uh, later viewing. Okay. Uh, we request the book. Uh, then it searches the book and searches the data. It searches in the database whether you have it or not. So that's what it is for a library management system. Uh, so then again goes to login. It verifies and it issues the book and it updates and then it logs you out. So this is basically it just logs you out from either uh, this side or uh, that side. Okay, uh, this side or this side. So basically, this is what is happening in component diagram for library management system. Thank you. So this is the uh, experiment number nine, component diagram. Thank you.